Bangkok is developing rapidly into a modern cosmopolitan city, but people looking at all the real estate development projects popping up all around town, people may ask, okay, with all these new condos coming online, is the market reaching an oversupply? Is there going to be enough buyers to absorb all this new supply coming in? And not only that, if I buy a condo and then I wanna sell it as a secondhand condo in the future, Will anyone buy it? Would people just prefer the latest shiny thing out there because more and more are just coming in? And not only that, with all this supply pressure, will the condo that I buy manage to appreciate in value? So in this video, I'm gonna answer all these questions using real actual data that I found. And I'm gonna share with you uh, this PowerPoint slide that I have here in the video description. So you can have a look at the data yourself and if you're looking to buy property in Thailand, you can see the link in the video description or go to jetgunther.com. And we have a team that can find property for you according to your personal needs. So let's get started. So to determine whether uh, the market is at an oversupply or not, we're gonna do a supply demand analysis by looking at new project launches in Bangkok uh, Bangkok and the surrounding provinces, this, and for short, I'm just gonna uh, refer to this as Bangkok Plus, for 2022 uh, versus recorded transactions in the Bangkok Plus area for 2022. And you see the sources there. These are in the form of links that you can click over and verify for yourself. So this slide, what we're looking at here is new residential launches in the Bangkok Plus area between 2019 to 2022. So we're gonna see a trend here where in uh, 21 and 22, uh, well, first of all, let's look at the left side is the number of units and the right side here is the number of value. And you see that the, uh, the numbers here dipped a bit during the pandemic. And in uh, 2022, it, uh, rebounded a bit. So you have total units of, uh, that launched in Bangkok. This is, this is for houses and townhomes and condos all combined, 103,000 with a, a list value. So this is how much the developers are listing them for, a combined value of 457 billion baht. Of this number, 51,680 are condo units and the value of the listed condos that were that came into the market are at a combined total of 135 billion Thai baht. And what I did was I um, did some math here to average out the average value of each new condo and I uh, came out with 2.6 million baht. That's the average listed value of uh, a new condo that came online in the market here. So this is the supply side. When you look at the demand side, this is from a different source. This is from the Real Estate Information Center. This is, uh, it shows the top 10 provinces by most residential transactions of 2022. And you see I've, I've put in some annotations in English here. So we have Bangkok up here. And then when I say the Bangkok and surrounding provinces, that includes Nontaburi, Samut Prakan, Patum Thani, and Samut Sakhon. And you see on this left side column here are the units for houses, condos, and all combined. And this is the value here of houses, condos, and all combined. So total transactions in the Bangkok Plus area, total 187,000 units with a total value of 826.9 billion baht. Of this, 81,833 were condo units, and the total transacted value of condos was 231.5 billion baht. And the average transacted condo value came up to 2.83 million baht. So this is the demand side via transactions. Now, if you compare the supply side and the demand side for 2022, when we compare these metrics side by side, we can conclude that for 2022, all demand metrics are roughly double that of supply metrics for the Bangkok Plus market. An average condo value was 2.6 million supply side versus 2.83 million on the demand side. Now, I would like to note that the supply side consists only of new units online that, that were 
uh, launched by developers, while the demand side includes both transactions of new and secondhand units. We're gonna get into secondhand units later in the video. All right, and another way of determining uh, whether there's an oversupply or not is to look at the inventory of houses and condos uh, left over from each year. So these are units that did not sell in that year. So you can see here, it, this is data from back in 2019 all the way to 2022 in uh, these bar charts here. So while inventory saw a spike in 2019 due to the pandemic, it has continued to trend back down to pre-COVID levels. So they're being absorbed up again after COVID when they lifted the lockdowns and foreigners came back again and ties felt more confident in the economy. Note that inventory often consists of less desirable units such as low floor or block view units that are hard to sell. So uh, what I'm trying to say here is that inventory can consist of units that are stubborn to sell. So it's it's difficult to uh, let go of these thing, of these units here. So uh, you you will you are bound to see leftover inventory each year. But as you can see, it hasn't accumulated much at all. It's basically being fairly uh, flat and and being absorbed quite well. So that was 2022. We're gonna do a similar thing with new project launches in Bangkok first half of 2023 versus recorded transactions in the first half of 2023. And the sources were the same as well. So you can see here total residential units uh, that were launched in the first half of this year were 45,162 with a total listed value of 203 billion Thai baht. Of this amount, it, 24,167 were condo units with a total listed value of the condo units of 68.561 billion baht. And the average new condo value was 2.84 million baht. On the uh, demand side, we have this same uh, table over here. Total transactions in the first half of 2023 is 81,712 with a total transacted value of 294.9 billion baht. Of this number, 36,198 units were condo units with a total transacted value of 109.4 billion baht. And the average transacted condo value was 3.02 million baht. So if you compare these numbers side to side, it shows that the first half of 2023 continues 2022's trend of all demand metrics exceeding that of all total supply metrics. And the average condo value was 2.84 million baht on the supply side versus 3.02 million baht on the demand side. So with this, we can answer the question, is the Bangkok condo market oversupplied? Well, according to the data, 2022 till the first half of 2023 seems to have no trouble absorbing new supply. So when you look at the Bangkok skyline and see all these um, condos popping all that up, up and all like that, and you're wondering, are they being bought up? Well, based on real data, believe it or not, these condos are being absorbed up uh, just fine. But is the market only absorbing new condos? Are secondhand condos being bought up as well? So people who buy, who are thinking of buying a condo will want to know this because, uh, so, so they can see down the line whether if they wanna sell their, their condo, which is gonna be a secondhand condo now, will it be desirable? Because, you know, in, because it will be in competition with all the new condo units that are popping up. So, we're gonna look at secondhand condos on the market nationwide from Q1 2022 to Q2 2023. So what they did here is the Real Estate Information Center uh, has showed the, all, the condo, all the secondhand condo that were listed on the market, listed for sale on the market. It shows here quarterly listings nationwide. On the left side is the number of units, on the right side is value. So. All these lines are different property types, condos, single family homes, uh, townhouses, whatever. So in this video, we're gonna focus on condos here, which is the blue line. So you can see the number of, the amount of units that were listed nationwide here, and as well as the value of uh, the units that were listed. So you can see the number of secondhand condos on the market has remained mostly flat which means they are getting bought up and are not over accumulating. 
So do Bangkok buyers purchase secondhand condos? Well, yes, they do. Otherwise, uh, this line up here would, would trend all the way up. It would not be flat because if people didn't buy them, it will just accumulate up, right? But people are buying them up and that's why this line here is flat. But do condos in Bangkok increase in value? Do other major cities offer better returns? We're gonna look at data that talks about this. This is international data actually by Knight Frank and it's their prime global cities index. It's a valuation based index tracking the movement of prime residential prices across 46 cities worldwide. And for Q2 of 2023, Bangkok, as you can see here on the left compared to uh, other cities, uh, was the 10th best performer. It gained 4.6% in the past 12 months, 1.2% in the past six months, and 1.9% in the past three months. So if we're just gonna look here, just cities that are beating Bangkok, you've got Dubai with an astronomical 48% uh, price appreciation uh, in the past 12 months. I mean, okay, fine. If, if you want to buy property in Dubai, go do that. That's a different game here. It's a different geography, different culture, different lifestyle in Dubai, uh, different regulatory environments. So it's not like you're comparing it with a, another Southeast Asian competitor. Tokyo also doing really well as, as well. I mean, okay, if, if you can afford real estate in Tokyo, uh, by all means, um, go do it. Manila, okay, a good performer as well. Again, if you like Manila, a different city from Bangkok, Miami, Shanghai, Mumbai, Madrid, Nairobi, Lisbon. So yeah, these are very different cities from Bangkok. And so, yeah, I mean, again, if you wanna invest in those countries, fine. Uh, but at least Bangkok is beating cities like Singapore, Perth, Zurich, Paris, Jakarta, Berlin, Kuala Lumpur, Toronto, London, Edinburgh, Hong Kong, Taipei, LA, New York, Seoul, Vancouver, Frankfurt, and Wellington at the very bottom. And uh, San Francisco is not doing so well either. Um, so this was direct surveys from Knight Frank. This is, I would call this direct data that they've gathered and they've come up with this conclusion. Uh, I wanted to do some indirect inferences as well based on what I've gathered here. And I wanna go back to that supply and demand analysis um, for 2022 and 2023. You can see here the average new condo value uh, that came on the mar market during 22 was 2.6 million, but the average transacted condo value was 2.83 million. So it was higher, was higher than the supply side. And in the following year, in 2023, the average transacted value went up to 3.02 million baht. So that means average condo value has trended upwards. So do condos in Bangkok increase in value based on direct and indirect data? Yes. I, I know that uh, based on people's observations, they may be concerned about the Bangkok market and have a lot of questions and all like that. And I've done my best to present to you answers based on real actual data. And I hope that uh, that was very helpful as well. Again, this PowerPoint slide will be available in the video description for you to download and look at as well. And if you're looking to buy property in Thailand, you can visit jetgunther.com and our team can help you find a property according to your needs. And we charge no middleman fees for the buyer. It's a seller that pays us um, commissions. So may as well utilize our market expertise and our access to the best listings on the market at the best prices. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you continue to follow us along for some great content in the future.